Hello, everyone. I am Matthew Trotter. On um, pardon the interruption, I am with Lyndon and Jake. So today, our first topic is going to be who is better all time, Dwayne Wade or Allen Iverson. First, I will hear from Lyndon. Who do you think, Lyndon? Personally, I got to go with Dwayne Wade here. Um, I think that he was obviously a much better defender than AI. We knew that AI could do a lot on the offensive side of the ball, but not much on the defensive side. I think that Dwayne Wade had a really great legacy. I also think that he was a higher IQ player. I think that obviously AI was a point guard and that he basically ran his team. But Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade had other guys around him to help, but I think that Dwayne Wade made the smarter decisions um, in the better times. Uh, obviously, you know, rings and stuff. AI does not have one. I don't like making topics all about rings because then it wouldn't be the player. It would be who had the better legacy. But I do think that Dwayne Wade all around is a better player, and I would rather have him on my all-time team than AI. Okay, that is a great opinion. Lyndon, I will hear from Jake now. Jake, who do you think is better, AI um, or Dwayne Wade? Oh, that's a great debate, but I think it has to go to AI. You know, I think AI is a better scorer, and, you know, and, you know, rings – Rings do have something to do with it, but to an extent, it's like, eh, you can't really like put rings into the conversation yeah. to an extent. I think that AI will be better on your team, and I think that he carried the Sixers to the finals, even though they lost to a really good Lakers team. But he carried that Sixers team to the finals, and I think that's something the Wade Wayne can't do. Uh, I also think that AI is a good... He he is a good scorer. I do think that Dwayne Wade is better on the defense side of the ball, but I don't think that really has yeah. more impact on on like the offensive side. So I think AI is better. Okay. And, and so when you did say Dwayne Wade can't lead his team to a championship, he kind of did lead his team to a championship, basically single handedly. So what are your thoughts on that? I think that I mean he he did like he there did was LeBron James though. You got to remember yeah, LeBron James was on the team. Exactly. But he, like he was their guy. LeBron too. Yeah, but he was their guy. Like yeah. he, LeBron, LeBron, I think LeBron that, was the second. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think that um, I think that um, Dwayne Wade was the second option on that team. Yeah, like, I guess LeBron. I don't think he was. All right. Well, All right. well, that's a tough topic, guys. Now we will go on to our second topic. Who is a better center? Um, who was like? We'll just do who was the best center all time. Let's hear from, we'll go Jake first. Jake, who do you think? All right, um, I think it's Kareem. You know, Kareem, it's probably okay. the best scorer all time, you know. Yeah. He can win championships to different teams. I think that, um, I think that, um, he also has. He has tons of points, you can think the, about that. The, the hook shot. Yeah. You know, the hook shot. Um, a great, a g- great move. Yeah. I think that, um. He created that. I think he had more impact on the game than any other center out there. Okay, that's that's a great reason. Now we'll go to Lyndon. Who do you think, Lyndon? I got to go with um, Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal here. I yeah. think that Shaq, obviously, you look at his ranks, and a lot of people try to discredit Shaq's ranks, saying that he did have Kobe for the you know for his championships. Um, I think the biggest thing that discredited Shaq's legacy was the fact that he basically got like bounced around like all around the league later in his career, which I think discredited him and kind of made him look like a guy who was just trying to stay in the league, even though he was older and even though he probably should have retired. But I think that Shaq is the most dominant player, uh, maybe other than LeBron. You definitely have a point. Yeah. That, that this NBA has ever seen, um, yeah. and that this league has ever seen. I think that Shaq is a great big man on all aspects, on the defensive side of the ball, on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah. Obviously, we didn't really get a chance to watch Kareem play. Uh, you know, in depth as much as we can, Shaq. You know, now going back and watching him play, but I think Shaq is really good at basketball IQ. Um, Kobe said it himself that if Shaq had the worth ethic that Kobe had, then he would have been the best player um, to ever play basketball. Um, and I agree with that statement. But I think yeah. that Shaq is somebody who I would rather have, and it's just more dominant than Kareem overall. Yeah. All right. So, so I think that um, Shaq is a very dominant player in the paint. Kareem is also good in the paint, but he can also shoot with the hook shot. He has more he has more scoring ability outside of the paint. I think Shaq can't really like shoot. Um yeah. he's yeah. terrible at free throws. He can't really shoot like Kareem can. So I think Kareem is a better all around player than Shaq. Yeah. Yeah, and obviously we all know the catch 
Shaq can't shoot the three ball, and you know nowadays in the NBA we're seeing centers, even free throws. Yeah, we're starting to see centers develop their shots, such as Carl Anthony Towns, who's a center who can also shoot the ball really well. But Embiid. Yeah, obviously, guy a guy like Shaq can't shoot the ball outside of the paint. But then when you look in the paint, which is where the center role mostly thrives, I think that Shaq was that guy in the paint for sure. Um, so those are both great opinions and like supporting your opinions. But this will wrap it up for the for today's PTI. Thank you. Goodbye.